welcome back to the lecture video of uh, physics for triply stream question paper discussion in this session i am going to discuss the question paper uh, which has happened in the year of uh, june july 2023 this is a part 2 video if you want you can see the part 1 video in the description box or i button kindly go through first in this session i am going to discuss the second part of this video for the question paper the physics for triply stream uh, which has happened in the year of june july 2023 So question number five a mention any four characteristics of laser and explain three types of uh, interaction of radiation with matter. So you know what is laser? Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. That is the meaning of elaboration of laser. And uh, here you are supposed to explain the four important characteristics of laser. You will be getting uh, four marks. Then uh, the explanation of uh, induced or stimulated absorption two marks then explanation of uh, spontaneous emission which has the weightage of two marks ultimately explanation of stimulated emission that is two marks so this is the division of the marks i think you can prepare accordingly so clear diagram or clear picture or flow of explanation is uh, required for in your answer book question number 5b with a neat label block diagram explain the application of optical fibers in point to point communication question number 5b block diagram you are expected to mention with a suitable labeling which has the weightage of 2 marks and a proper explanation should be added in your answer uh, which carries the weightage of 4 marks ultimately 6 marks will be getting question number 5c a medium look at this this is a numerical example you prepare accordingly you can get full full score 4 out of 4 you can uh, score a medium in thermal equilibrium uh, at 300 kelvin has two energy level with a wavelength uh, wavelength of spectrum of 1 micrometer find the uh, propulsion density ratio of upper and lower energy level okay what you are expected to do is write down the given data then write down the formula each as having the weightage okay each carries the weightage so no need to worry so first of all uh, the general equation you are supposed to write n2 by n1 is equal to e to the power minus h nu by kt or you can write like n2 by n1 is equal to e to the power minus delta t by kt both are fine or uh, this formula is also fine whichever you comfortable you can go ahead uh, if you write the formula uh, on short you will be getting one marks then substitution and com computation is the next step for that purpose you will be getting like 1 plus 1 2 marks you will be getting ultimately the result also matters 1.365 into 10 to the power minus 2 is a ratio no so there is no unit no need to worry so this is the answer you are supposed to make out kindly verify once before going for the examination okay similar kind of questions you can expect in the forthcoming examination hope you got the importance question number uh, 6a so what could be the question let's have a discussion uh, derive an expression uh, for numerical aperture of an optical fiber discuss step index single mode and a multi mode optical fiber so you will be learning in for electronics and communication students they will be learning separately in fifth semester uh, for optical fiber ofc communication so right now you will be learning about the basics okay question number 6a will be dealing with the question number 6a okay so what could be the answer so here what you are supposed to do is diagram with the proper uh, di proper direction then marking with the suitable angles incident radiation everything incident angle everything you have to mark it properly then applying the snell's law of uh, snell's law of refraction you are supposed to apply snell's law so using the uh, like a uh, uh, different part uh, clad core cladding everything you have to mention properly then uh, ultimately you will be getting the expression like a uh, square root of n1 square minus n2 square by n0 or uh, like a square root of n1 square minus n2 square depends on the literature whatever you are reading so marking the angles in the figure is must otherwise uh, no marks for the derivation that's very important so like uh, explanation uh, to the step for the optical fiber single mode okay and uh, explanation uh, to the step index of multi mode single mode and multi mode you are supposed to mention only change the value and you can make out very simple so you can plan accordingly so this is question number 6a okay now we'll be moving on to question number 6b discuss the application of laser in uh, laser range uh, in uh, finder in defense one of the application based question that is 6 already you might have studied about that so we have to elaborate it six na question number 6b Lay, uh, like laser range uh, diagram with the explanation okay ranger finder with the diagram with the explanation 2 plus 4 okay that's all that's a distribution of the marks question number 6b there is a numerical example uh, the sum of refractive uh, indices of core and cladding in the step index of optical fiber is 3.12 and the difference is uh, 0.08 the diameter of the core is 
50 micrometer find the v number and uh, number of modes that the fiber can support for prop uh, propagation of the wave wavelength lambda is equal to 594 nanometer formula you are supposed to write first of all v number is very important you should know what is v number there is a formula pi d by lambda into square root of n1 square minus n2 square or else you can go for this formula as well so answer should be like v is equal to 132 okay lambda is already given so for uh, number okay for n should be v square by 2 that will be like 8712 so this is about the answer kindly make a note of this uh, prepare similar kind of problem in the forthcoming examination and do it well so that is regarding question number uh, 6c i think it's clear to everybody question number 7a write the maxwell's equations in vacuum uh, derive the equation for electromagnetic waves in usual maxwell equation you will be learning the same kind in uh, the field theory so right now you'll be learning the basics question number 7a so like this is a form a maxwell equation you have to remember yes uh, d is equal to uh, see b is equal to mu h okay then you can use this uh, del square is minus mu e del square e by dot t e square is equal to mu dot j by dot t plus del square dot v by dot e. Okay. So for wave equation uh, for p space del, del v is equal to 0, j is equal to 0. Question number 7 is clear to everybody. So you have to derive these expressions. Okay. Mass distribution is mentioned here. Like a four mass, mass equation equation 1 into 4. Uh, then uh, like uh, applying the conditions. D is equal to del e. Okay. Then B is equal to mu into H, magnetic field strength. Then uh, ultimately, you will be deriving the expression, uh, which you will be getting two marks ultimately pre, uh, for the condition, special condition, you will be getting another two marks. Okay. Question number seven, the state and derive the Gauss divergence theorem, mention Stokes theorem in the mathematical forms, Gauss divergence formula. Mathematics also, you will be learning about the same thing. Okay. So two, then total uh, charge equation, uh, then uh, Gauss law, you are applying. Uh, ultimately, uh, this is a mass distribution. You can go through once. Okay. So, you can prepare like this. Question number uh, C, uh, 7C. Find the re resonance frequency of an LCR series circuit with the uh, inductance of uh, 0.5 Henry capacitance of uh, 0.45 micro uh, farad and the resistance of uh, how much? 400 ohms. Okay. You apply the conditions for resonance. You can apply. Okay, so here uh, the equation, very simple equation is available. You might have studied in plus two class also. Yeah, resonance frequency is equal to how much? Fr is equal to uh, 1 by 2 pi into square root of LC. You might have le uh, learned about the curve also, resonance curve. Okay, you'll be computing Fr. You might have heard about the radio tuning. So substitute all the values, you'll be getting the answer. F 336 hertz, this much of answer you should get. This much of value you should get. Very simple, uh, this is a plus two level question. You can answer it very easily. Okay, note down the answer, 336 hertz. Okay, question number 8a, state and explain uh, goes low in magnetism, ampere circuit law and biot savart law. In basic electrical engineering, you people will be learning the similar kind of things. Uh, 8a, statement and equation goes low, then statement and equation for ampere circuit law, uh, statement and equation for biot savart law. So total how much? Uh, 2 plus uh, 2 plus, uh, see, 2, 2 plus, 2 plus 4, biot savart law, which uh, which has more weightage, almost four marks, because the expression and that that derivation that takes a little bit of lengthier steps. So they they provide uh, four marks, two plus two plus four, total eight marks. Discuss the continuity equation, derive an expression for displacement current. Okay, so discussion of equation uh, of electricity uh, and uh, displacement of current equation will be getting three plus four. Okay, that is a distribution. Find the wavelength of the semiconductor laser of the diffraction gating experiment when the angle of diffraction is 1.5 degree for the second order maximum. Give the uh, grating constant that is already given in the question. Even you can refer the handbook also. There is one handbook which you are going to will be getting during the time of examination. That also will be you can you can uh, find out if the values grating constant is not given. You can identify from that particular uh, handbook. Okay, so use the equation. Here, uh, the formula is given. I request you to verify the answer. Lambda is equal to d sine theta uh, by m. Okay, this is direct equation. From that, you will be getting lambda. 615 uh, 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 nanometer. So, that is a, like a, a 615 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Okay, substitution. Direct substitution will be getting how much, how much marks will be getting? Uh, 5 marks. Very easily you will be getting. There is a direct substitution. Okay, there is no complicate. Uh, complicated issues or uh, complicated steps very easily you'll be getting the uh, marks. Okay, that is regarding question number 8C. 
So let me know if you have any queries. If you require like a separate solution for that, uh, do let me know. Any confusions are there, you can uh, put up in the comment box. This is the way how to prepare it. Mainly my focus is uh, make you ready for the examination. Okay, prepare accordingly. Refer your notes, whatever it may be, or refer the literature, any one of the literature textbooks or any other capers, whatever it may be, you can refer and you can uh, plan accordingly. So this is the way how the question uh, questions will be appeared in the examination and how to answer this. These are the weightage, value, value answer, keys are available. So you have to plan your answer in this fashion so that you will be getting a very good marks because ultimately that is required very good score uh, for your subjects. Okay. So let me know if you have any further queries. I'm, I would like to, I'm very happy to answer that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning. If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe. If the video is useful to you, kindly share the video with your friends and colleagues. Happy learning. Have a nice day.